Hey guys, Zach here and welcome to my top 10 PC platform games to watch in 2014. Now, a good platformer focuses on good platforming, and 2014 has a handful of games that should be right up any platform gamer's alley. There's a couple of big titles and a few indie ones that are definitely worth keeping an eye on this year. First up, we've got Apotheon by Alien Trap. Set in ancient Greece with the aesthetic of Greek pottery, this beautifully unique 2D side-scroller takes you on a journey fighting through a world of mythology, an open-world single-player campaign set around Mount Olympus, along with multiplayer deathmatch and team modes will be available. If you like side-scrolling combat and ancient history, you best check out this game. Next up we've got Cloud Built by Coilworks. Over-the-top rocket-powered parkour. That's what this game is all about as you recklessly carve your way through levels, taking full advantage of mobility and momentum. The idea is to use your reflexes and wit to get through traps and enemies, all while exploring a fantastical set of floating ruins in this cell-shaded adventure. Then we have The Iconoclast by Konjak. You play Robin, a mechanic in a world where her hobbies are considered illegal. Explore a beautifully rendered vibrant 2D world, meet friends, deck out your character, and battle enemies. Development is taking a while, but there are already alpha builds available, so go try the game out. And then we got Rain World by Draw, Jacobson, and James Primate. I hope I said those names right. Deceptively simple at first glance, it has fluid combat and platforming mechanics. Set in an abandoned industrial environment, you are a nomadic slug cat, both predator and prey in this land. Nimble controls allow you to sneak, climb, and pounce as you try to survive the open world with limited resources. Check out the game and see if you are as surprised as I was. Next up we've got Owlboy by D-Pad Studio, a vertical platform adventure with a beautiful pixel aesthetic set in a world of sky islands. You play as Otis, one of the last owls whose village is attacked by pirates. On your journey you discover the threat is not what you expect, so prepare for an adventure where the visuals alone may keep you captivated. Then we have And by Games by Mo. Help number 25 explore planet Gomi in search for his missing girlfriend Anne, where you travel on foot or fly your ship in a kind of open world environment. The game is still in early production, but it looks promising enough to keep an eye on. Next we have Catacomb Kids by 4-Bit Friday, a brutal platformer roguelike with procedurally generated catacombs. The unique thing about this game is the crafting system. It throws out the idea of gathering some items and combining them in your inventory or on a crafting bench. In this game, you have to utilize your environment and the objects you find to craft the items in the game world, such as heating a rock, throwing it in a pool to heat it, then throwing a poisonous mushroom in to cook it, resulting in poison liquid and an edible mushroom. A novel enough execution of a crafting system to pique my interest at least. Next up we've got Project Maiden by Kevin B. Cole, a Zelda-like in reverse. You play as Imogen, who starts with godlike powers but you lose them one by one as you progress through the game. Themes revolving around loss and how you are better or worse after experiencing loss are central to this indie title. It's been promised that the game will be 100% free of charge on release, so let's hope the promise is kept. And then we've got LEGO The Hobbit by TT Games. The LEGO video game series has been going for a while and some have been better than others. Either way, there's no ignoring the massive title of The Hobbit and the epic journey you'll be able to embark on with your bestest of friends in the LEGO universe. But will this game be a step forward in the LEGO video game series or will it just fall to pieces? Keep a close watch to see if it's worth your time and money. And finally we have Oddworld New and Tasty by Just Add Water, a remake of the 1997 Oddworld game. Abe's Odyssey is rebuilt in an all-new 3D aesthetic. You play Abe, first-class floor waxer, who overhears that he and his kind are going to be turned into meat for sale in his boss's failing meatpacking empire. The game looks promising, but fans of the original may feel that it's not close enough to what they're expecting. But if you haven't played Oddworld, this may be the time to to get into it. Now most of these games should be releasing this year but either way you should be keeping an eye on developments to see if these games will be redefining movement or falling flat on their faces. Alright that wraps up my top 10 PC platform games to watch in 2014. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.